everyone, this is Heather Smith with Storyville Photography, and today I'm going to show you how I achieved this edit of my daughter dressed up as a little granny for Halloween. I took this around 1 p.m. on an overcast day, and I used the Canon R5 and the 200mm 2.0f lens. My settings were 2.0f, 320 ISO, and 5000 shutter speed. This is the before, and this is the after for a comparison. And the first thing I did was take my images into Lightroom, and I'm going to do some basic adjustments here. So I'm going to increase my white balance to 6,000. I'm going to increase my contrast by 25. I'm going to decrease my highlights all the way down to negative 100, and increase my shadows all the way up to positive 100. I'm going to increase my whites by 32, and my blacks by 15. And then I'm going to come on down to my HSL panel, and I'm going to decrease my yellows by 35. I'm going to decrease my greens all the way down to negative 100 and the same with my magentas. I'm gonna come over to the saturation and in the yellows, I'm gonna go negative seven and in the greens, I'm gonna do negative 25. And then I wanna to come to my crop tool and just straighten it. I wanna make sure the background is completely straight and that looks good to me. This is the before and after with the basic Lightroom adjustments, and now I'm gonna go ahead and open it into Photoshop. Okay, now that I'm in Photoshop, I'm gonna go ahead and make a copy of my background layer by hitting Command-J, and I wanna grab my cologne stamp. I wanna get rid of some of these distractions, the leaf by our foot and the yellow signs over here. So the quickest and easiest way to do this is with the uh, cologne stamp, that's just my preference. And I'm gonna sample um, the background over here by holding down the option key and clicking on it and then I'm just going to kind of cover up right here and there we go it does not have to be perfect but now the white um, eyesores are gone and the subject is pulled more towards my daughter because that's the only thing you want to focus on is your subject there we go and that is the before and after with that. And then I'm gonna come up and I'm going to layer, flatten my image. And the first thing I wanna do is run the painterly action. And I'm gonna decrease the painterly base um, to 80%. Now I wanna come over here and grab a soft black brush at 100% opacity. And I'm gonna go ahead and mask it off of her eyes like her nostrils, her teeth, ears, just things where you really want the details um, to be prevalent. And I want it off of all of her dress except for her little apron. I kind of liked the difference um, in the patterns there, leaving painterly on some and not on all of it. I'm gonna try and do this really quick, but if you're doing it for um, a client or you're gonna print make sure that you know your masking is dead on because if it's not you can see like little patterns poking through here but to um, bring the paint really back just hit the X arrow and you will get the white brush you can go ahead and touch up where you missed I'm not gonna spend much time doing that but you get the gist then I'm gonna come over here press the X arrow again make sure I have the black brush and just going to go along the edge of the skirt here. But I'll just do this really quick so you guys don't like fall asleep on me here. Take it all the way off. Again, be very careful with your masking. I'm going to get it off of the road in her socks too. Yep, and I got it off of her glasses and that all looks good to me. So that's the before and after with the painterly base. And then I want to turn on my color dazzle to kind of brighten the whole image up. But I'm going to decrease it to about, I don't know, like 42%. And then I want to mask a little bit off of her skin. So I'm going to use a soft black brush. I'm going to turn this down to about 50%. I'm just going to click on her skin really quick. And you can mask off any areas, like if I thought there was too much on the dress or whatever, I could adjust the opacity or mask some of it off um, using the same technique. So that's the before and after with just the painterly. And then now I wanna come over to my ultimate dodge and burn. 
Love this action too. I'm going to open it up. And the first thing I want to do is I want to burn the whole image. Um, so to do that, I open up the environment and I'm going to click on the black mask and I'm going to go ahead and hit, hit command I to bring the whole image down. I'm going to use my soft black brush at 100% opacity and I'm going to take this off of her skin. I'm going to dodge and burn that separately. Again, get in with your masking or you're going to get halos, get in close, take your time. This is just a quick overview for y'all. Okay, so I'm done with the environment. I'm going to come down to the dodge and burn clothes. And I kind of burn, not kind of, I did burn the clothing with um, the environment. It just made life really easy here and I didn't need it on a separate um, mask. So I'm gonna increase my brush, soft white brush, 100% opacity, because I'm using a black mask. And I'm gonna paint the extra dodge on. Again, this is really quick, guys, but take your time. Put it on her hat. She's so cute. I just love this image of her. She was cracking herself up during the photo shoot and me and my husband were just like dying. <laughs> so funny. Okay. And that looks good to me. You can adjust the opacity here or if there's some areas that are like too bright for your liking, you could take the soft black brush. I don't know, at like whatever percentage you'd like just to kind of decrease it in certain areas. So that's good for me there. And I'm going to come into the dodge and burn skin and hair. And the first thing I'm going to do is grab the burn again, because I'm using a black mask. I'm going to use a white brush for here, hundred percent opacity. Um, the dodging and burning of this image is really intense and drastic. That's how I wanted it for here. doesn't work well on every image, but if you want more of like a cartoony, almost like really defined look, you're going to want to do a lot of heavily dodging and burning. Okay. And then I'm going to come over to the dodge one and it's going to come on really strong, but I will adjust accordingly once I'm done with the highlights. Just kind of going over some of the highlights on her. On her neck. And I'm going to come down to her arms. And then if you run over again, just hit the X arrow to make it a black brush and just mask off where you did that. Okay. Now I'm going to turn this down to zero and just slowly crank it to where my eye likes it. And that looks good to me. Come back up here, add a little bit more to her cheeks. There, okay. That looks good. Very defined dodging and burning for this, guys. Now this is the before and after. Such a huge difference. Oh, we can't forget our hair. Coming back to the dodge and burn skin and hair. I'm gonna go over to the dodge. Again, white brush, soft, 100% opacity. And we're really bringing out those white highlights amongst the curly gray. <laughs> she looks cute. She's going to be a cute old lady when she grows up. I just feel it before and after. And now I'm going to add a little bit of color to her cheeks by going into the retouch action, play. I'm going to choose the radiant red, soft white brush. It's going to be clownish at first. Then I'm going to turn it all the way down and up a little. And also going to add just a little bit of coloring to her lips. Whoops, that was a little bit too much. Okay. <laughs> so cute. Before and after. Now I'm going to zoom out. And I'm going to flatten this. And I'm going to run my smoothing and sharpening action. So to do that, make sure that your background is flattened. Hit step one, the smoothing, play. And I'm going to turn this down to about 60. 
that's the before and after. It just makes it really smooth and dreamy. I love this action. I cannot say enough about it. I'm going to come down to the sharpening and hit play. And for here, I'm going to turn this down to about 40-ish percent. And I want to open up the bring back details. And I'm going to turn the contrast off. And I'm going to turn the brighten up to about 64 percent. So that's the before and after there. And that's it, guys. Uh, this is the before. And this is the after. You can find everything I used here over at www.storybuildphotography.com. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye.